Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're here at Electrify America and we're gonna do another 10% challenge, except this one's gonna be slightly different than the last one we did. If you haven't seen the last one, um, I'll link that below and uh, feel free to check that out. The 10% uh, challenge was created by the Out of Spec channel. So if you haven't seen their channel, I'll uh, link them as well. The basic concept of the test is you arrive here to some DC fast charging station at a low state of charge roughly 10%, and then you charge for 15 minutes and see how much energy you can get into your vehicle, get out on the highway, and see how far you can go with only 15 minutes of charge. The standard out of spec style test for the 10% challenge is 80 miles per hour. Um, so I did that test. Uh, you can check out that video. Um, this test is gonna be the same thing, except it's going to be 70 miles per hour. Uh, maybe you're in an area with lower speed limits, and uh, you want to see, you know, if you lower your speed, how much more range do you get? The other difference is, you can see this test is at night. The last one I did was in the day, so uh, the temperature was warmer. This was a few months ago when I did the last one, so it was in the high 80s, low 90s. Um, this test is going to be in the high 50s, low 60s. This car is a 2022 Mustang Mach-E. Um, it has the standard range battery. It has all-wheel drive. It's the premium trim. So. It's the worst range uh, Mustang Mach-E in the lineup currently, and um, it's also the slowest charging Mach-E in the lineup because it has a smaller battery. It's also the NCM battery, which is what Ford launched all the Mach-E's with. And so its charging peak is 115 kilowatts. If you're buying a 2023, around middle, middle of that model year and newer, the standard ranges are all LFP battery. What's great about that is your peak charging speed on those are the same as the larger NCM battery at 150 kilowatt peak. All the Mach-E's should do at least as well as this car, if not better. Um, so keep that in mind as you're watching this video. Um, this is kind of a, if you have a good charging session, uh, this is kind of worst case scenario that you would get. You know, obviously the rear motor version, you're gonna get better range. You're only running one motor instead of two, where this is the all wheel drive. Um, if you have the Route 1, you have the larger battery, you've got the aero wheels, you don't have the glass roof, all those things do make a big difference. If you've got the GT, you've got two large motors, but uh, you know you don't have the smaller battery, you got the larger battery, um, and as well as the higher peak charging speed at 150 kilowatts. Let's, uh, let's plug in and see what happens. 10%, okay, we are plugging in. Nice, there we go. Okay, moment of truth here on the speeds. Okay, this is looking good. Yeah, this is what we'd expect for the car. Um, you can see we plugged in there at 10%. Ramping up nicely. Um, again, Nice V8 in the background there. Again, this is the uh, standard range Mach-E 2022. So um, it's limited to 115 kilowatt peak. Um, so yeah, this all looks as normal. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give this 15 minutes and then we'll see how far we can go. Here at the charging station, all four chargers are available right now. About half hour ago it said Three out of the four were in use. Um, I was able to plug right in. Um, I did activate it with my phone since I've got a Electrify America balance, so I wanted to use that. Um, but yeah, I've been going for two minutes. Still doing 103 kilowatts here. Um, I turned the car back on, but you know, with these temperatures, not much climate really needs to run at all. So. Um, I'll show you what we got going on in here. So it's showing we're fast charging, 80%. Obviously we're not gonna wait that long, but would be 844. So uh, just under a half hour to hit 80%. Um, we'll obviously reset the trip and everything. I'll go ahead and turn climate on. I mean, I don't really need it, but just for the sake of the test, 
we'll do, you know, kind of whatever we need to hit 72 in here. Um, 63 degrees outside right now. And uh, let's go check on the charger again. Okay, so we did ramp down a little bit there. We're at 82 kilowatts. Um, still seems about par for the course for this car. You can see the vents are open here. Um, the fan is running, but just not, not too much. Tire pressures look good. Recommend it's 39, so everything looks good there. Alright, so we're closing in on 15 minutes here. Just a little over 20 kilowatt hours delivered. Still doing 83 kilowatts. It's been hovering around that 81 to 83 pretty much the whole time, other than the spike at the beginning, obviously. Okay, 15 minutes. Stop. Okay, 21.3 kilowatt hours delivered. And all done here. Okay, so we just finished charging. We got up to 43%. Um, we are gonna go over to the trip here and get this all reset. Yeah, so just a few differences this time. Um, you know, we're gonna be going slower, only, you know, 70 miles an hour. Uh, the temperature is also cooler. So it's 63 out right now indicated. It's gonna keep cooling down a little bit. So we'll be using less climate. So uh, yeah, let's get on the road and see how it does. Okay, so we are merging onto the freeway here. We're going to get up to 70. And uh, we've gone 1.2 miles so far, so the charger's just a little bit off the interstate. Not too bad. Okay, there's 70. Or it was. And we're going to just try and maintain 70, you know, as much as possible. Okay, another update here. So we're at 39%. Um, we've gone 8.6 miles, 64 degrees outside. And uh, efficiency is looking pretty good. Um, I do have climate on, um, just set to 72. AC is clicked, but climate's really not having to work much at all. You can see our driving here, so the accessories is going to be, you know, obviously the headlights, uh, the fan, and all the electronics and stuff, so that's using a little bit, but not, not too much. So things are looking pretty good so far. All right, so we just hit 30%, um, and I just turned around, so we're heading back towards the charger. We've gone just about 27 miles here, um, and we've there's been a little more traffic than I was hoping for, but we've mostly maintained 70 um, right up until I talk about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been doing okay maintaining speed uh, for most of the drive, so. Um, so far, so good. It's cooled down to about 61 degrees. All right, we just hit 20%. We are at 45.8 miles, uh, 60 degrees out there. about to go by the charger. Um, we're at 18%, uh, just over 50 miles. So we just did 25 miles each direction on the same highway here, so a nice loop. Um, and we're gonna go a little past the charger now, probably five miles or so, and then uh, turn around and, and loop back. Okay, I've got a 15% update. We're at 55 miles. Um, so, if you watch the last video, this is roughly how far we went um, at 80 miles an hour. 
so um, yeah this is this is pretty interesting all right we've turned around for the second time we're heading back to the charger we'll probably hit 10 percent a few miles before we hit the charger but pretty good in terms of a loop we're at 58 and a half miles so we'll definitely break 60 maybe hit 65 uh we'll see all right we're down to 11 percent um we'll hit 10 percent any moment now we're at 62.7 miles and driving for about an hour and we're like a half a mile from the charger exit so any second now we're gonna hit the 10 percent not at, still not at 10 percent and this is my exit we kind of want to keep going because that's the test 64.3 okay we have to keep going we're still at 11 percent we'll have to oh there it is 10 percent 64.5 miles all right, that's your test, and uh, we'll give another update here when we hit 9%. All right, we just hit 9%. We're at 67.2 miles, so that makes sense with our efficiency, you know, the three miles or so per kilowatt hour um, to, you know, one more percent. So uh, there you have it. That That's the test. Uh, I'll see you back at the charger. All right, so we made it back to the charger here, uh, 7% left, um, and uh, we went 73.6 miles, you know, using another 3%. We made it back to the charger. Um, everything seemed to go pretty well. We didn't go quite as far as I thought we would go. I thought the lower speed we would go, uh, you know, a little bit further than we did. There's some other factors as well. Um, the temperature being the main one, you know, the car was probably running just a little bit of heat. You know, just to recap, you know, at 80 miles an hour, you're gonna go roughly 55 miles or so. And at 70 miles per hour, you're gonna go roughly 65 miles or so. So another 10 miles, you know, you're probably in the low 50s if your speed is high or, you know, you're running a lot of heat. Um, on the flip side, if, if you're going more like 65, 70, and you got ideal temps, you're running very low climate, you're probably going to be in that 65, 70 uh, mile range. Um, I also have done three charges for 15 minutes at a low state of charge. Plugged in again after we just did this test. Um, I was only at 7%, but still a very low state of charge. I charged for 15 minutes. We actually got a slightly higher peak at the beginning. And so you see just a little bit more energy on boarded, but not a huge difference. And so you're generally looking at about 21 and a half kilowatt hours put into the battery with the standard range uh, Mustang Mach-E that does not have the LFP. So this has the NCM battery. Um, right around mid 2023, all the standard ranges are, are shifting to the LFP battery. And so the LFP, um, the big difference there in terms of charging and this test is the peak speed is 150 kilowatts where the peak speed on uh, the standard range NCM is 115 kilowatts. So uh, that will make a noticeable difference in this test um, if you have the LFP battery, um, you know, everything else being equal. Obviously, you're not going to be charging at the 150 kilowatt peak the whole time, but, um, you know, we kind of leveled out in the low 80s um, for charging this car. So I'd have to guess you're probably going to be in the low 100s when you're charging the LFP version. You know, say you're getting an extra 20-ish kilowatt hours you know 20 extra kilowatts over an hour divide divide by four you know over 15 minutes you know that's going to give you an extra five kilowatts or so you're probably going to be instead of in this like 50 to 70 mile range for this test you're probably going to be in the 65 to 80 85 mile range so uh, that'll definitely help and you should enjoy that well, I think that's it for today's video. You know, appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.